Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this introduction video about testing. So the goal of testing is to check if your app behaves the way you want it to. And it also helps you to get warned if things break. And if you have been in software development for a while, you know that, you know, whenever you add new features or refactor some parts of the code base, do some bug fixes or maybe update dependencies, there's just a big chance of breaking things without knowing it. And then you, you know, you ship your uh, product to your client and then sooner or later, your customers will complain that your app is not working correctly. Now, testing is not a way to completely prevent, you know, unwanted behavior or bugs in your application, right? That's, that's simply not possible, but if done correctly, you can definitely catch a lot of these things. Now, the next thing I'd like to talk about is the different types of tests there are. Uh, to get started, I think the most easiest one to explain is end-to-end -end testing, right? And this is testing your software from the beginning. So let's say starting from your front end to the end, your back end. And it's just like how you would um, test an app in the browser, right? So you just, you know, you click on things and you type things and you submit forms and go to different pages and so on. And uh, that's, well, that's essentially end-to-end -end testing, but obviously um, in the perfect scenario, you want to do that in an automated way. And we're going to do that in a couple of videos from now using Cypress. Um, I will skip integration and unit for now. We'll first um, tell you a little bit more about static tests. So some people will maybe argue that this is like not really a test because generally speaking, uh, you know, the most common tests are end-to-end -end tests, integration tests, and unit tests. But it doesn't take away that um, static tests are very useful as well, right? Uh, think about TypeScript, which we also will be learning about in this course, but also ESLint and Prettier. Um, by the way, if you don't know what ESLint is, um, if you have your React app running, you can sometimes find some errors or warnings in your console. And that definitely also um, is, you could say some form of testing. And the same goes for TypeScript um, and Prettier as well. And Prettier is, uh, um, is a code formatter. So um, having said that, let's go on to units and integration tests. And a unit test is essentially testing a small piece right? A lot of people refer to it as a unit of code. And the thing is that an integration test is said that it's um, testing multiple units of code, but the lines are sometimes a bit blurry, right? And there is, I think, not like a very large consensus in the community about what really is meant with a unit test and what's meant with an integration test. But honestly, you shouldn't really care too much about the exact definitions. However, at the end of um, the section of the course, you have a good understanding of how to separate these from each other. And uh, having that said, we are going to write our unit and integration tests using React Testing Library, uh, which is a very nice library that comes uh, like built in with the Create React app. So the main takeaway is that in this section of the course, we're going to learn about what to test and how to do it effectively. And that is something you both will know and understand at the end of this section. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.